What's up everyone, Kate is here and today we will learn how to add Jet from Builder form to the page created with any page builder. We analyzed the requests to our support team and understood that you guys mostly use Elementor, Divi, Oxygen, and Bloxy in your projects. So right now, we will try adding Jetform Builder Forms to the pages created with these builders and themes. Let's start with Elementor. Right here, I have a sample hotel contact page. It's one of the free Elementor page templates that can be found here in the library. My template is inserted already, so now I can simply add the form straight into this column underneath the icon. There are a couple of ways that you can do it actually. First, and the most simple one, is using the JetForm widget that comes with the JetForm Builder plugin. Here in the form settings, we need to choose the form we'd like to insert. Adjust the settings like fields layout, required mark symbol, and submit type. And as for the style settings, here you get the full access to fields customization. So basically, here's the place to implement your brave form design ideas. Another way of inserting a form into your web page is using the shortcode widget. It's easy, but keep in mind that it won't give you access to the styling settings. So let's search for the shortcode widget and place it right here. Good. As you can see, here's the place where we need to enter the shortcode that refers to the form created with the help of JetForm Builder plugin. Let's open the dashboard, go to Jet from Builder, and copy this shortcode right here. Guys, I'm pretty sure that you already know how to create and style forms, but in case you're totally new to this plugin, please consider watching our previous video tutorials to be on the same page, okay? So let's go back to the Elementor and paste the code into this field. There you go, the form has been successfully inserted. But just like I said before, the options here are pretty limited. That is why you either need to use JetForm Builder in conjunction with JetStyle Manager plugin to have an opportunity to style your forms in the dashboard, or you can try using another way of inserting it into your page. Let's delete this one and select Text Editor Widget. Okay, right now it's got some kind of quote that we don't really need, right? So here is the visual part of the widget that allows you to literally see the visual changes that you make to this text. But over here, it's got a text tab too. And if we switch to it, we see the same text, but with a bit of code. So basically, we can enter our shortcode right here and it will output the form of ours with no problem. Let's update the page and refresh it to see the changes. There you go. So now we have access to some of the styling options within the text editor widget and we can style it to our liking. Okay, let's move on to the Divi Builder. This one gives us pretty similar options of inserting the form into the page. We can either use code or text modules for this purpose. Let's start with the code first. Click on the Add New Module button and search for the code module. Insert it into the column and paste a short code of the form. As for Divi, this code module gives you the opportunity to customize the design settings of the form and thus change its appearance to your needs, which is kind of nice, right? But apart from the code module, we can insert the form via the tax module too. So let's remove this one and search for the text module. 
Ok, so let's go straight to the text tab and replace this text with our shortcode. Same as in the previous module, you can adjust the styling settings to come up with the most suitable design for your website. Just keep in mind that these changes are applied to the whole module, not separate fields of the form. That is why if you want to have more control over the styling process of the form fields, JetStyle Manager plugin will be a good solution to use. Ok, so what about Oxygen? It also has a pretty simple and intuitive way of inserting the form, using a shortcode element. Let's click on Add button and type shortcode in the search bar. Click on it and paste a full shortcode into this field. Good! The Advanced Settings tab gives us the opportunity to adjust the background, size and spacing, layout, typography and much more options to make our form look nice and unique. We can even place the form into a pop-up with the help of modal and shortcode elements. How? You can add a modal element to the page, change the trigger to show when user clicks on the element, specify the trigger selector, for example, this button, and place a shortcode element into this modal section. Don't forget to enter the shortcode itself and change the padding a bit too. Let's save the changes and see the result. Great! Works just fine. Guys, I'm not here to teach you design or anything like that. I'm sure you have lots of brilliant design ideas in your mind. That is why today we're just going through the technical side of the question, ok? And last but not the least, let's see how we can add a Jet from Builder form to the page created with Bloxy theme. Here I have a contact page with a ready-made column for the form. The process of adding the form here is exactly the same as for the Gutenberg editor, obviously. Let's click on the plus icon and search for the JetForm block. It comes with the JetForm Builder plugin and it is designed to output the forms we create to the pages. So let's click on it and in the form settings choose the form we'd like to use, which is Contact Us. Change the submit type to Ajax and style it a little bit with the help of JetStyle Manager. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I hope it was useful. If you still have any questions, go ahead and drop them right in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and take care!